Live back in the studio, two hotheads on cannabis, and uh, we're sitting with a full studio of people right now. Dex yep. is behind the board. What a fun day it's been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> been a pleasure. Yes, it has. <laughs> and Heather Mack is the co-host. I sure am. And uh, we got Garrett sitting over here with his King of Pot shirt. And, uh, and Garrett, it. actually, Garrett gave me a heads up. I want to shout this out to everyone who's listening, that Immortal Technique is going to be playing for free just after our show at like six o'clock at the Underground Hip Hop store. Fuck yeah. Um, Where yeah. is that? So Where that's, is that? Oh, I have the I have the address. Shut up, my camera. Conveniently, today. damn it. Um, Two thirty four Huntington Ave. Wow. All right, and it starts at six, and it, it says it's free. I don't. You don't need tickets. Boy, you don't need nothing. Wow, you just show Boston. up. You I, get I, ready I, to get rocked out by Immortal Technique. He's Nick. amazing. I've seen him twice, and he's incredible. Um, and some other Boy, artists too. Save us a spot. Yeah. Oh, Shizer, Shizer. That's there it is. great. We need room for six. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. Yeah. We also have uh, Matthew James in the, stu- in the studio here. How are we doing? That's a fact. You heard him a little earlier chiming in. And, Matthew uh, went on like a gigantic cross-country adventure. And yeah, I went now. down to D.C. for a few days, saw like, our nation's capital. Oh, our that's nice. Style, saw all the monuments. Ran Isn't around. Lovely? How many of them nice. did you smoke in front of? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They have like a crazy amount of laws down there. Like they will, for a possession of like just just anything, you could have a thousand dollar fine and a year yeah. in jail. In my yeah, younger not years, like I went Jesus. to I went to the normal headquarters. That was cool. In my younger wow. years, I smoked a joint and I put it in a, a statue's mouth. And I had a police <laughs> officer with a very big gun. It was right after September 11th. Come up to me, and I'm not going to go into the details of it. But he looked at me and he said. <sighs> said, sir, that statue means a lot of things to a lot of people. I appreciate if you left right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. And the way you went. Damn. I grabbed the joint and I left. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian cop, he's all like... It's uh, a good thing you can nah, the he joint. was holding like an yeah. automatic weapon. It was, uh, it was like... It was probably it was before October. He's either gonna shoot you or wow. let you go. Yeah, so it was it was after September 11th, wow. but before. That makes October. me weak in my knees just thinking about uh. like the the terror I would have if that happened. To oh, me. dude, there were snipers on top of the White Ooh. House. You could see it everywhere. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So <laughs> All aimed at your joint. <laughs> All other crosses. Thank right. God that's not like that here in Mass anymore for a joint, anyways. <laughs> uh, for, we also have in the studio. A guest, special guest, a special guest, and uh, he's he's coming back because he was here two weeks ago on uh, an issue that was very interesting. We didn't know what was going to happen. We have some resolution now. He was elected. He was a delegate-elect at this point two weeks ago um, for the Republican National Convention that's coming up in Tampa Bay where everyone's expecting Mitt Romney to be the nominee. It's the Death and, Star. And the Ron Paul issues going on. He was elected as a Liberty Delegate. Would he get to go down to the convention? And uh, we know that Frank is now officially a delegate that he's going to tampa he's been selected and he's representing yay yeah that's exciting (laughs) we also know that uh some of the other uh delegate elects that were voted on and were picked to go down there have not been selected they have actually been kicked off because they didn't sign a pledge in time Mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't sign a piece of paper in time Get it notarized, which is a pain in the ass, which is ridiculous that they were asked to do that, in my opinion. And they were kicked off. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? That's Yeah, that's that's correct. That's still kind of bullshit. Uh, well, it's, to- <laughs> it's total bullshit. Because I mean, I'm glad that you're, you were selected, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I guess I am too. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be going. I'm happy to be able to have a voice and, and to um, affect whatever type of change I can affect um, down there. Uh, mostly helping other... Um, caucuses uh organize in order to get things done down there because i mean as as far as it is stands right now 17 people got bounced yesterday out wow. of our delegation that's alternates and delegates and how many people got in um i think there's, there's some, another uh seven but another 17 uh people got in so about half the people they but, bounced. yeah about about half and, and brad brad wyatt he's he's going he's a uh, he he was selected, right? Uh, he got bounced. He got Brad got bounced. Brad got bounced. Wow. Yep. That's ridiculous. Oh yep. my god. You know what? That's just so asinine. This guy's a leader. He's clearly like a an above board person. He's clearly working with the Republicans. He is a Republican, and they bounced him. I mean, yeah. give me a goddamn break, Mass GOP. Well, I mean, it's it's that, like like the- no, seriously. I I so want to be 
working with them, but I, that's like that pisses me off beyond no end. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and it's 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 not the entire mass GOP. You know, <sighs> it's the upper echelon um, establishment guys and, and ladies. You know that have been there for a long time. They're very entrenched and they have a lot of power and control. You know, uh, but there recently was a state committee meeting um, where a a vote was going to come up on the issue of provisionals that we talked about the last time I was here. So uh, we registered a lot of people as Republicans, and the deadline was February 15th. And some folks registered right before the deadline or on the deadline, and the town clerks did not update the information uh, with the Secretary of State. So provisional ballots, which were in the rules the day of the caucus, read by the caucus chair on video from all nine caucuses, you know, said that provisional ballots would be open and counted if... Um, you know, they, they were within the margin of, of so victory. So they, they didn't count the ballots. So they didn't count the ballots. They threw so, out ballots that were legal ballots. Yep. So 29 They're trying to do that cheating. in Florida, too, yep. actually. They're trying to make that uh, legal that you have to get your uh, your registration in, like, I don't know, a month or something ahead of time. Or yeah. you get. <laughs> yeah. Well, in some places, they have same day registration. They don't want people you know? to vote. Yeah. Well, so, exactly. So, so, I mean, that's just. Uh, <clears throat> I, I just can't believe though that they threw out brad wyatt i just it's like come on I, I and you guys like have even half a brain on this shit like you're clearly going down there to vote most of you for mitt romney because we you have, have to. to we have to we're and, bound and so yeah, like what is the about, issue i want to know more about that what is so what is it what is the process of becoming a delegate and then what are the requirements of you when they you got, change the requirements this year. Right. Well, they? they change the rules as they go along at this point. Right. Um, so basically, you have to be a registered uh, Republican before February 15th. Okay. Um, or would have had to have been at any rate. And then so uh, caucus is held where um, as many people as you can get to show up, come and meet and um, hear speeches. That um, in the rules say that they're supposed to be two minutes long. The day of, they were actually three minutes long, and it said that in the rules that they sent out that day. So I mean, it's just a, it's just a string of these people just breaking their own rules over and over again. But get that. But to get back to your point, so you you have the caucus, people are nominated, people are elected, and then um, there's a credentialing process that happens where you know they basically say, all right, well this person's going to come, and then they have this thing called the allocation committee, where um, there's uh, I want 14 people on the allocation committee, I believe, and um, one of them doesn't have a vote as the the legal counsel, and then um, Romney has a person who is on that that allocation committee as well, and they can just throw you off for whatever they want. They call it just cause. <laughs> and they're, you know? and they're the <laughs> just cause. The, the, yeah. These people, these are, are the people all I beat, the people that you. have been there for years. Well, that, the chair that, of, that have been around through Salucci and Romney and. Kerry Healy. Well, so <laughs> Kerry Healy was one of the folks that uh, didn't initially get elected. Yeah, the no, former lieutenant lost. governor of Mitt Romney, who was his uh, heir to the throne, so to speak, that lost in the election. She didn't get selected initially. No. Nope. But now she is selected, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, she was ele- she's selected as an at large delegate. Well, offer her this from us. This is her ideal to Kerry Healy, I think. We're going to ask around the room. But I would say this. If Kerry Healy will come to Unregular Radio and smoke a joint with us, then I'll consider becoming a Republican in Massachusetts. I'll consider supporting her for governor. That is my offer. Or she smokes a joint with Frank at the Republican National Convention, and Frank comes back and gives us a report live on Maybe Unregular Radio. Maybe I could sign an affidavit yeah, saying well, that I saw Kerry Healy <laughs> smoke a joint in my presence. It's got to be think? notarized, though. It's got to be notarized. Yeah, yeah it's got to be notarized. Do you oh, think that man. she will smoke a joint with you? Like, no. if we, Will you make this offer to her? <laughs> Come on. Will you make I mean, the offer? I sure. All right. Tell Absolutely. <laughs> Tell her we're serious. Got nothing to lose. I like you know, your style. I like your style. What are you going to say? No? It's, I mean, it's like a sales job. Come on. I mean, this whole thing. It's All just for like, your vote, Mike. <laughs> but what they're doing is so... It's, it's just like a joke. So, like, why can't we joke back? No, you right. absolutely... And like, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right, you know? Yeah. I mean, absolutely. this is... It's, yep. it's, it's I don't see any of us wearing suits. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, I mean, I when I go and do the... You know the, the the thing. I wear the suit. Oh, yeah, you know, I get all true. dressed up. When I go to the when nice, I go to the right? uh, state house, it's the same deal. Yeah, you know, because I mean, it's it's you want to you want to like be yourself and like do your own thing, you know. And then the, you sometimes you get throw a suit on. Yeah, as much as you don't like it. Oh, I put you know? suits on. Throw a suit. Yeah. I like a suit. I do you know, it all the time. people treat you differently when you wear a suit. It's okay. You get look, dressed up. I'm pretty conservative. Get dressed up. <laughs> I'm not usually wearing anything like that's not business looking. Oh, yeah. Business bum. Business cash. Business, business bum. cash. <laughs> business bum. This is a, but you know, like I have that. You know, <laughs> do I do we get a I, I'm all about Fridays. that. But you know, to each their own. Whatever yeah. works for you. 
Exactly. You find your niche. And it's I'd love to thing. live in a world where we weren't judged by yeah. you know whether we had piercings or tattoos or that'd be nice. You know. Or nice. suspenders. Yeah. And <laughs> There's <laughs> enough of us, world. man. We, I know, we seriously. Do, we do live in that world. We just have to have the balls to stand up as a group. And <laughs> telling people not to stand up unless they have a tie on is the yeah, wrong way I to don't, go about I don't it. like that. No, I agree with agreed. you. On. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think and if to each their own. Whatever you want to look at. 617-606-4122 is the phone number. But we're also talking about uh, Ron Paul, the whole Ron Paul thing. Um, you support Ron Paul, right, Frank? Yeah. All right. And... Um, the thing with Rand Paul this week, yeah, he he came out and endorsed Mitt Romney. He did. He, uh, I think he be, like I watch Adam Kokesh on uh, YouTube. Yeah, Kokesh was pissed. Kokesh was losing his yeah. shit this week. Right? <laughs> did you see that, uh, uh, Dex? Oh, I did. It's yeah. like Adam. I'm gonna uh, say two things. Adam's Adam a Kokesh. fantastic man. Adam is awesome. Put on a goddamn shirt though, Adam. Yeah, he. I don't never, like dude, the tank top. Every time I see him, he's <laughs> in that tank away. top. And number two is. Like, all right, I, I like your reporting this week, Adam. I know you lost your shit a little bit, like we all do at times, but you are right on the fucking money, Adam Kokesh. He was right there. He had all the info on what's going on. And uh, it just, like, what do you think about it? Like, are you disappointed by it? Um, Yeah, I am disappointed by it. Um, You know, I mean, while I have to, I'm, I'm required to, um, you know, Fulfill my my oath, you know, to vote for Romney on the first vote. But this is uh, just, <laughs> you know, it, you're honor bound to I'm, vote for. You know, oh boy, I'm honor bound. You know, that's why there's no, that's why there's no, that's why there's no, uh, no penalty in the law for like say abstaining or voting for Mickey Mouse if I wanted to. You know, you could, but yeah. I I could, but I'm then saying that my honor is shit. Yeah, and I mean. But how you is your make- honor to yourself when you're, you know, how can, how can you truly say that you're honoring uh, someone or something when you don't agree with it? Well, all? because you were elected to, to, be a to be a representative of the people, of the people yeah. you know? What, and so it's kind of, I guess, the three different you, style what, of government. But what know, about the Rand Paul, Ron Paul thing? Like, uh, you, I don't know. Like I we, mean, yeah. committee position Do or you, some you, sort of, a, uh, I mean, a, uh, like, you know, a, a nomination to, you know, Maybe vice president, or you think that's what he's looking for? I mean, I think that I think that Ron Paul looks at it as revolutions are long term and elections are short term. Yeah, and um, in order to get a seat at the table and to just try to steer the ship uh, the way we want it to go um, is the best way to do it. But I mean, yeah. as far as, as Rand Paul is concerned, um, I wish that he was stronger on civil liberties. You know, like he, yeah. he and, and more of a, an anti war kind yeah. of a person, you know? To me, it seems that um, Rand Paul's libertarianism is completely financially based. You know, if, if, if a rich guy's not yep. getting a tax cut, yep. then, you know, the, the world is, is falling apart. But, yeah. you know, yeah, right. there's but a when lot. we talk about, like, you can watch, you can YouTube it, and there's a, there's a video of him on YouTube arguing against ending oil subsidies. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And sure, he's pragmatic and he's this he's and he's that, of, mm-hmm. but it's like he's up there and he's arguing against I know. S- like cutting the subsidies. I've seen stuff companies. with him. He ain't Ron Paul. And uh, I think that he betrayed Ron Paul this week. And I think Ron Paul betrayed himself. Like, come on. You know what I mean? You NDAA, all these things that we are against. And Mitt Romney, you're going to endorse that? Yeah. Like, were you secretly playing for Mitt Romney the whole time? It, it brings up so many questions. I just I'm beside myself. I was kind of. I feel like, like I was duped the whole time. Yeah, like, you I, know, I because like I, I knew the me. whole time, the whole vibe, the whole time. But I just said, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's about the ideas they're pushing. But a lot of the issues, like the gold standard, I hate the fucking gold standard. Yeah. There are much better forms of money. We don't need the central control banking fiat money. We can do th- um, a thousand Ithaca dollars in every community and have states do them and do them federally and internationally and have competition and shit would go great because everything would be transparent and run the right way. That is the answer. It's not the gold standard. Yeah, you know, and there's all sorts of different things, you know, the, and different kinds of um, hypocrisies, just like in, in everybody. But, you know, where, like, say, Ron Paul doesn't support, um, you know, a federal law on abortion, but he right. did sign uh, a petition saying that he would be in favor of amending the Constitution to say that, um, you know, life starts at conception. Why? Because he was a master politician, wasn't yeah. he? Is well, that why, you think? I mean, it's it. Well, that was like uh, Santorum's argument. That was what probably the best digging that Santorum did his whole entire uh, campaign was he figured out that Ron Paul was the fourth 
um, highest ear marker in the whole entire Congress. Yeah. So out of all the, the, the you know, people that are in the Congress, he was number four as far as earmarks. And then he would always vote against them. <laughs> he would vote against the earmarks, but yeah, then but the bills would, would get passed, and then everyone in his district would still get the money, but he could have the moral high ground of saying, well, I voted against it. Yeah. You know? And he very well probably would vote against you know, um, his, own, his own bill like he, like he had in the past. But I don't know. There's all sorts of different hypocrisies and different things that you know, know. we don't want to stomach. It's and tough. at the end of the day, I'm going down to Tampa because you know I believe in ending un- unconstitutionally um, declared wars, and I believe in ending the Fed. I believe in ending the drug war. You know, I I believe you know, in, yeah. in. I'll support yeah. that here. You know, yeah. That's what I'm going down there. You're for. You're our delegate. That's what I'm going down <laughs> there. Yeah, I want for, you to tell Kerry Healy that we want her to come <laughs> on this show. I will. It's yep. going to be two hot heads. This is how we attract happens. more uh, the people, the politicians. <laughs> Maybe we, we can we live stream. Yeah, I thought the whole yeah. point was to, uh, you know, put our proverbial suit and tie on. Yeah, we are. We're putting. We're gonna. <laughs> but we're still yeah, passing them. Tell, yeah, tell her that we'll be wearing our suit and tie. Uh-huh. And we want. We don't have to tell anyone even, but we want her to come down and hang out and smoke a joint with us. Yeah, <laughs> it won't even be on air. Yeah, it'll be uh, not for attribution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we fine. wouldn't even tweet it. Certainly promise. not. <laughs> Certainly not. Have you uh, speaking of which? Have you smoked any uh, uh, or consumed any cannabis with any uh, right wing Republican leaders in the state? There are some people <laughs> that, that that smoke pot. Which they ones? exist? I have it. Are they high level? Are they high level in the state of Maine? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know do. where they are. You're lying to me. I don't know. I know you know. More. I don't know anything. Oh. Come on, say, I'm a school teacher. Oh. I'm a peaceful man. Oh, oh, yeah. You don't, you don't use that stuff. No, I'm no, no. Saying, other other not. people that you might have heard about. Oh yeah, Just, of course. Everybody smokes weed. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, everyone's like, oh, this stuff's bad, and they're like going to hide in their cars, and they. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all talking about smoking weed. Where did this go today? I don't. I don't, I don't know. It's me. Isn't it's it two hot heads on cannabis? Yeah. Uh, isn't it? Is it? I think, it? Is. I think <laughs> we're on topic. Well, I have my other idea.